Right, it's a very wet and windy day, so, um, actually, I don't know how windy it is, but, uh, oh yeah, it's blowing a bit of a breeze. Um, but yeah, so in the UK, we've got some mixed weather, but, um, this is, uh, Gertrude, and I'm going to do, it's about my yearly rehouse of her, I believe it's a female, um, and I'm not sure what's going on with regard to size or anything. I've just been dropping food in, etc. But um, I'll show you the setup quickly. It's actually. Um, oh crap. Let's just do this. Um, it's the same as the. Exactly the same as the one I've got her in. I've just made a hole. I've added some more substrate, fresh substrate. And probably good enough to go for another year or so in there. Um, I'm going to show you the whole process, but it's. Oh shite. It's not good, that's broken a bit, bugger. But yeah, I've got a spoon, and I'll show you the first bit, really. Um, and then I'm gonna press pause, and then get you to the exciting bit, which will be seeing her, and then putting her into the new enclosure. Now, this is what I do with most fossorials, is I'll just get um, a spoon. I know where she is, roughly. I, that's, so that's a good idea. Um, take out anything that's in the enclosure, um, and if you start to dig it out, you can, actually there's an interesting thing, I wonder if I can um, get it to come out if I wet it. I'm not going to bother, I'm just going to do my old method actually. There is one technique where you pour water in, and the tea, I'm just thinking whether I'm going to do that or not. Hmm. No. Because I haven't got any distilled water to use. Um, that's the problem there. So I'm just going to dig her out this time. But I might do that in future. Um, I could do that with my lividum. Anyway, I'll, I'll look into that actually. I mean, I've got to take the soil out of my lividums at, at some point anyway. So I could always try to do the water technique. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just have to go back to digging it out. But anyway, yeah. So I'm just, the hole is here. And then I'm just going to start scooping. And then... Yeah, taking the mud. So I'm going to press pause and I'll be back in a sec. Right, we found her. She's down the bottom here. So I think what I'm going to do is tip her out, basically. Just scoop underneath and then tip. So be very careful. So I might get the brush here just to... Ooh. a little bit risky mm. I think I'm going to just try and scoop up underneath probably the easiest way of doing this Oi. there she is looking beautiful um, looking small What's been going on for four years, you? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hmm. Unless you're a male. You don't look as though you're a male, you're just very, very small still. Right, so back to the drawing board. This is a word of, oh Christ. I'm gonna get her in. Oh, I don't really wanna get bitten by a king baboon. But she's absolutely beautiful, so um, it's a little quick close up before she disappears because I've got a nice little hole for her but she's looking all right actually um, so what I do is I'm going to put a few worms on the surface for her um, and she's wanting to escape so um, what I'm going to do is tip her in ah, sorry about this like so with my spatula Careful with the soil as you tip, but she should just go straight in. There you go. So she's coming up. Come on, sweetie. In you go. Perfect. Straight into a hole. Bit of an ungracious. Uh, dive there, but she's in, and she's got water, and um, I'm going to put a few uh, worms out for her, and she'll be fine. So I'll just put her out the way now to chill out for a bit, because she's probably a little bit, ah shit, sorry, stressed by the whole uh, 
ordeal, having lived in there for about a year. But she's still small, so um, yeah, I'm going to stick worms out, and then um, she'll be fine in there. I've, wa I've wet, wet um, this end, so it's got enough moisture in there, and she's got a fresh water dish. So yeah, my uh, there's my king baboon Gertrude, um, who I hoped was going to be bigger than that, but um, there you go. But looks healthy, so um, yeah, great. Thanks for watching. Oh, I'm sorry about my last vid. I think because I'm trying out a new, um, well, I was trying out the Samsung editing software that's inbuilt to the phone and I think somehow it went wonky. Um, I'm crap. Cheers.